Dr. David Bizell, who is Brizell, pardon me, there's an R in there, uh, who is professor in the Department of Radiation Oncology at the Duke University Medical Center, and Dr. Brazil is joining us from Duke today. We welcome you. Thank you. Good morning. And thank you for taking the time to be with us. I'm going to just put the broad cosmic question on the table. Do we have any good, firm evidence that being exposed to electromagnetic radiation over a period of time increases the risk for any cancers? I think that it's still, it's, it's a very controversial topic and the results are still, of, of many good studies that have been meticulously conducted, the results are inconclusive in my opinion. So when you say inconclusive, you're not saying flatly no, there is no evidence, you're saying we don't yet know? I, I'm saying we don't yet know, and if, and if there is evidence, it, as best as I can tell, it looks like there may be an increase in the what's called the relative risk of some fairly rare types of cancer uh, that don't affect a large part of the population. And it, it's important to understand when we say relative risk what we mean. Uh, for example, if something has a risk of one in a million, the relative risk may be increased by a factor of three or four, and that may be significant, but it still means the risk might only be four in a million, and it's not, still not a very common problem. And so when you say if, and I keep stressing that word, of course, there is a connection, it's in relatively rare cancers. Give us some examples. Well, uh, recently a study was published looking at Swiss railway workers, and those, those um, workers, the engineers in particular, had an increased risk actually not of getting a cancer, but of, of dying from a rare form of leukemia called myeloid leukemia or a rare form of, of lymphoma. Uh, and this, even, even this is somewhat inconclusive because the investigators were not looking at the incidence, in other words, the number of people who actually developed the cancer. So that kind of cancer would be in contrast to very common cancers like breast cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer, brain cancer, for example. Well, I, I think this is the common sense and, and, and critical point that uh, if, if we're going to worry about things, we need to, common things happen commonly and we need to worry about the common problems. Right. The development of breast cancer, the development of lung cancer, the development of colon cancer, and these are things that we have the ability to, to very effectively screen for and either prevent or detect in the earliest stages and, and in terms of a public health issue, that's far more important. We also have the ability uh, by not doing things such as smo not smoking smoking, not using tobacco, eating properly and exercising properly to reduce our risk of the common problems. Focusing on the rare cancers that might be increased in risk, do you ever think we'll get a definitive answer on that question? Will we have the tools and the ability to do so? I, as far as electromagnetic radiation is concerned, I, I think it's possible, but it would be extraordinarily difficult. and. Uh, I think in some of the studies that have been done recently, the, some, some important things that have happened is that we've had investigators who are very committed to their work who don't, who don't have any conflict of interest. Again, I, I come back to the sw uh, Swiss railway right. worker uh, study. The, the investigators didn't work for a power company. They didn't work for the railway company. They, they didn't have any conflicts. It was just finding the facts. But is, even though they looked at 20,000 workers over, over a 30-year period of time, they were looking after the fact. And I think if we wanted to try to get a, a truly definitive answer as to whether the problem exists in the first place, and if it does exist, what is the magnitude of the problem, we would need to embark on a, on a very large uh, type of study similar to what's been done where 30,000 nurses, uh, I think the, the Framingham yeah. Heart Studies, have, have done and looked at high blood pressure and right. its effect over 30 years. So as a final question, and one that I assume will provide a reassuring answer, I would assume that if there was a huge increase in risk for cancer, we would have found it by now with these kinds of studies. I, I think you're right on the money with that. Okay. Uh, thank you again for taking the time for being with us. It was very helpful. Thank you.